Perfect Blender includes a terrain generator. You find it in the add-on module section. Search for Ant, and set the check mark on the right side of the entry. Now you find a new entry in the Add menu. Navigate to Add Mesh Landscape. This will create a terrain field at the cursor location. In the tool shelf on the left side, you find a set of control parameters which change the look and feel of the terrain and create a big variety of landscapes. If the tool shelf does not show up in the 3D view, then press T on the keyboard. You can choose from a set of surface types which control the overall shape. and another set of predefined textures controls the roughness of the surface. I keep it up to your curiosity to explore the entire range of possibilities by yourself. Please also take care about the values for the height and for the plateau. While height defines the terrain maximum height, plateau cuts off all heights above the given value. Hence, you only will get visible changes when you make the value of height bigger than the value of plateau. The sea level defines the terrain minimum height, so it behaves very much like the plateau. Please note that the terrain origin always remains at height zero. But the Primstar Terrain Exporter will reset all negative height values to zero, and this may not be what you want. So if you want to export the exact terrain shape, then do not use negative sea level values. Or fix the location of the origin before you export. Second Life Terrain has a fixed resolution of 256 control points on X and Y. Hence we can increase the number of subdivisions accordingly. This gives us much more fine details in our final result. Now, we are almost ready to export our terrain. Please remember to check the location of the object origin. And remember, that all height values below the origin will be reset to the origin height. Finally navigate to File, Export, SL Terrain and save your work to disk. And now your terrain is ready for import to your target system. The Primestar Terrain Exporter is not limited to be used with exact terrain fields. You can use any arbitrary 3D object as your terrain template. The only rules are First, the exported terrain field is always constructed as a projection from top view. Second, all Z values below the object origin will be reset to zero. You can construct your terrain by joining multiple objects, you can add, or even remove vertices, you can move and distort your terrain however you like. You do not need to take care about the field grid, the Primestar Terrain Exporter will always take care to create a valid result. Thanks for watching.